So today I'll be talking about a new Nigeria. It's late in the day for General Buhari to make suitable impact in the development trajectory of Nigeria. Six years of his regime has come to not much good for us. So by 2023, nothing would have changed for the good. Promises of a corrupt-free government of national security have come to nothing. Education, health, infrastructure, all stagnant. Human rights is virtually non-existent. And dare I say, even common sense does not prevail in governance. And I mean, the utterances of Lai Mohammed give credence to this. So what do we do now as a nation? The obvious task ahead of us is strengthening our institutions to deal with our errant behavior. At the moment, it's all just a tea party. So a reconfiguration of thought processes will do a lot to help us achieve this. We underestimate Western education. We brag about so-called successful lives achieved without requisite education. But this success is all mediocrity. And what we do is wallow in mediocrity and run a false economy that has no indices for true measurement of growth and productivity. And as soon as we are done with our mediocrity, we hurry off to the West to enjoy a bit of real good life. I'd like Nigerians to collectively condemn all past and then even the present governments. Stop the unintelligent debates about good luck Jonathan or Basinger or Gawan being better than others. Stop deifying ex-governors just because they built ramshackle schools and clinics. The stories behind their own stories will shock you. Let's judge people properly, or you will get governors who have unexplained killings behind them wanting to run for president. Let's stop defending people because they belong to the same tribe. You want an ex-governor whose bank accepted to launder $280 million for a past president to run for your presidency because you are of the same tribe. We are all institutions. So are the corporations and arms of government. So please condemn an information minister who proposes to borrow and spend $500 million on the Nigeria Television Authority. It is daylight robbery in disguise. Do your own work with honesty. Promote high standards within your profession. Society needs you. They do not need you prefixing absurd professions before your name, barrister, architect, and all that. They need your brains. And believe me, when you begin to see things for what they are, you will join me on the way to a progressive nation. Embrace progress, build ranches. Mechanize farming, be methodical with it. Learn to be entrepreneurial, even if you made large sums of money from graft. <laughs> Fantastic. It's a beautiful piece. Brief, straight to yeah. the point and concise. But, um, Embrace. Embrace ranching. <laughs> Embrace mechanized farming. No, but you you know the nobody needs your barista, architect, architect engineer. They need your brain. Awesome. There are severe. So there are uh, pharmacists. Uh, Broadcaster. It is, it is when <laughs> it is when you know next to nothing, nothing. that you want that preface. You want people to recognize you with it. Not what you have in your, what Head. you have upstairs. Hmm. And so, oh, let them know that I'm a barrister. Let them know that I'm a doctor. <laughs> but meanwhile, when it comes to doing the job, you are stuttering. True, very true. Second base, um, I'll, I'll, I hope that we all take the lessons from Chuka's advocacy. Although, it's not the first time that we're hearing it. Um, when it is my brother that is the next in line to mm -hmm. become governor, and the political party chooses him. Yeah, I may just forget yeah. two cars and go casey. But well, that is how it works. <laughs> I, I mean, I, mean I, I have real life examples of yeah. a friend whose brother became a senate. And this was someone who has been mm. agitating for transparency in the salaries of this National Assembly people. All of a sudden, mm. he went quiet and believed that after his own brother's session. What's that Kenyan writer that says, um, when there's food, she will uh, not be talking when there's food. Don't talk when you're eating. You know, but uh, really, uh, but really um, Senator Eunaya uh, Baribe is a friend. Mm -hmm. But he keeps telling me, liberals keep criticizing us. Mm. Criticize us, if, even if I don't do anything good. I want to hear you someday criticize me. Mm. You, you know, mm. so 
it, it makes people you, you put them on their toes. Yeah. Yes, because as a leader, you are in the public eye. True. I, I also I like the fact that you know Chuka is talking about. Look, we need to work together. Let we, in your own little mm -hmm. space try to be different, and that's the only way. When you get to public space, you would you know also want to do it differently. Mm -hmm. You won't listen to. Imagine Oshomole as a governor. You look at the house, the massive house he built in this village. Just before the program, we are talking about your children going to school, and before you know it, they've left you. They are you are alone empty. in that big house, and then your wife is busy chasing Omugo here and there. You know, grandchildren, and then the house is empty. And that house you built with two billion naira. It's all of a sudden, that will you need hundred million to maintain, maintain it. the house. And so, but you ask yourself, if you had spent that two billion to, to build, build a school, low cost housing. Or to finance small uh, industries, cottage industries. And that's your in community. That's your community. And live in that small house, you will have more people to provide security for you. It just reminds okay. me of our Oba who had two, two million dollars in his I house think, in the middle of poverty. I think uh, that your Oba is. Uh, I think that <laughs> there's, 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 there's a sense. There's a sense. Um, even if I talk, I, as I spoke about hope and giving up hope, and there's a sense that. And Chuka's advocacy and, and getting into the spirit where even for those of us who are older and we are, you know, we've reached the same level, that younger people must be fed with hope. Younger people must be given a line mm -hmm. um, you know, to see a path. And I who, think that, that, that may be what's the ch challenge. Who, who is to feed them? Because I know, for instance, that our religious homes used to give us hope. But again, they use that to indoctrinate us. Which hope? For, for their own gains. Which hope religious? Uh, <laughs> they, they, they are looking for. They 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 hold you. That's a topic for another day. They hold you in captivity, and uh, so consistently fleece you. No, you're, hope, you're no actually hope. I a... bought my fourth jet in yes, COVID. In COVID. <laughs> Can you well, um, since we're an era of uh, hope, leadership, and um, you know Messiah, just stay with us after the break. Jumoke is actually seeking for a Nigerian's next Messiah. Don't go anywhere.